Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. <laughs> but pardon, gentles all, the flat, unraised spirits that hath dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object. Pardon. And let us, ciphers to this great account, on your imaginary forces work. Suppose, within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts. Think, when we talk of horses, that you see them, printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them here and there, jumping o'er times, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me, chorus to this history, who, prologue like, your humble patience pray. Gently to hear, kindly, to judge our play. <laughs>